Hi folks, uh, we are here at Rotten Apple Haunt with Jason Howdy. from the Haunt Store and I'm Brian, I'm from Rain of Terror, it's a haunted house out in Thousand Oaks, we're out here in Burbank. We're looking at the Maniac, which is apparently the big hot thing after a 40 second video I made at Scare Lay last week went completely viral. Big, um, big. Insane. He's not He's not lying. Viral. Like, like big numbers. Yeah. So, this is the light that everyone's been asking me about, and I'm sure Jason's gotten a few questions about too. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Fogger moving head with LED in it, RGBA, red, green, blue, amber. Um, probably one of the coolest lights I've seen in a long time. Uh, let's just start off with a few informational things. It's about the size of a clay packy Sharpie. So it's not huge, it's not tiny, as you can see. Um, the weight's about 35 pounds, so it can also be, you know, like any other light, it can be hung sideways and vertical, such as we have it here. Exactly. Um, one thing is if you do have it inverted, uh, you have to use a separate reservoir because the reservoir is not invertible on this. But we'll get into that in some more details in a little bit. Um, a few more informational things about it. It's got 3-pin and 5-pin input and output. Um, it has a remote, but the remote only works for the fogger, which, you know, why would you want a remote for the colors anyway? Why would you want a nice, expensive light and just use the fog only? But it, it does work really good with that because you can always set your light to just do some random changes, and then if some kids come by, pop them with the fog. Exactly. Uh, power is a simple power con. Uh, we're controlling it off a PC here with the Magic Q system. Um, we're also using a five gallon uh, separate reservoir, uh, which you can use, like I said, as you have it inverted. Um, all right, also it uses 10 channels of DMX, um, so it's not an absurdly large amount of DMX, so you can have a lot of these on one universe. Um, the other cool thing is uh, it only takes, what was it, four minutes to heat up? Four minutes to heat up. Yeah, four minutes to heat up. Um, <clears throat> so you start it, you know, when you're doing your pre-show prep and just let it sit. Um, as I said, it's RGBA. There is no dedicated white channel. It's color mixed white. Um, it's actually not a horrible white. I mean, I've seen some other fixtures that are out there, like the pink. Yeah, pink white. We won't mention names, <laughs> <laughs> um, but there are some out there that are really bad. This is, it's decent um, in this version. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if you mentioned it, but the lights are eight watts. So correct. Yes, eight watt lights. So you're, you're looking at some pretty decent brightness. We're inside in here haunt shop out here and you know, kind of hard with, to, with regular lights on too as well exactly so it's kind of hard to get a good color and uh, brightness level so uh, power consumption of this unit is uh, 15 amps so you got to have it on its own dedicated uh, channel there is a another version you were mentioning I think for Germany coming out yes for 230 230 yeah, it's coming it's not out yet um, transportation there are no road cases available yet uh, I think after they see how big this video was and all that stuff, they're going to have road cases on the market in a very short amount of time. Yeah, we're going to definitely take it to a road case house to have it custom sized. But as you were mentioning earlier uh, when we were talking, it will fit in a um, play packy in, in a play packy case. Yeah, play packy sharpie. It's about the same dimensions and weighs about the same. Um, if you want to show them the onboard reservoir, uh, yeah. you can pull that out. It's really simple to take out if you need to change or fill it up. So if you have this hanging somewhere, you just got to open that side panel, and you got about maybe a pint here, a little more than a pint. Um, you got the hoses, you just pop them off, and it slides right back in if you want to go and show them that. And what we've done is we've got it connected to a obviously a reservoir, but the two uh, hoses are an in and out, which are connected to the actual unit itself. So all we did is disconnect those, add two lines to our reservoir, bigger reservoir, which is a five gallon, uh, 15 second fog juice. And, and it, uh, it can use other yeah, it lengths can, of fog juice. It can use a hour long fog juice if you wanted to. Uh, the main reason that we wanted to use the 15 second is we want, we wanted something that was a light fixture with a fogger that could replace a CO2 blast. Exactly, so you can replace your, your standard cryo. Um, but it also, if you have it in red or in orange, kind of like we have it right here, as you can see, it can almost replace some pyro. I mean, you, you can replace propane burpers with this. Another cool feature is we're basically running this light off of this IBM laptop here. It, as long as you have a USB to a DMX converter of some kind, whether it's ETC, we're using NTEC here, uh, and a Magic Q system, anyone can really program this. So if you're, you know, the, Super professional doing this, you know, in a giant theater, giant arena for the home haunter, 
<laughs> or the home haunter, yeah, both of us. Um, anyone can really program this with a simple laptop. Now, from a professional opinion, because my day job when I'm not doing Reign of Terror is working in professional theater as a stagehand, um, I can tell you've been looking at this fixture and there, I'm not getting paid to be here. This is actually a very, very well-made fixture. It's got a pan and tilt lock on it. So when you're, <laughs> yeah, he's broke. <laughs> When he's, uh, whenever you're transferring this, you can lock it. Um, so yeah. if you have it hanging on a meat rack or if you have it in a road case, you know it's not gonna swing around and destroy the servos in it. Yeah. Um, it's metal, so you're not, you know, not cheap American DJ plastic. Um, and I'm looking at it, and it looks pretty simple if you're doing on the road maintenance. Yeah. You got four screws here and four screws back here to open it up. Um, you got a yeah. few on the deck. Four screws on the sides. Yeah, so it looks like you can, we can't actually open it up because they don't want us to yet because they don't think they want that out there, kind of keeping the insides a secret. Um, but it looks pretty simple maintenance. Um, now, fog machines are notorious for clogging. Yep. What do you use to clean out the actual fog system? Well, there's a company called uh, Fog It Up, and they've come up with a very, very nice um, fog cleaner. You know, and, and really, really what it comes down to is as long as you have fog within the system and you're constantly using it, I mean, especially for units like this, you're not, this is not something like a normal fogger that you're just going to leave for eight months at a time and bring it out. This is something you're going to use often. And even then, if you have it, you can even rent it out to some people. I mean, this is a money maker, even if you buy it and use it yourself and have somebody else use it. And that alone will keep that fogger going continuously. If there are any problems, there's always the warranty that you can trade it back in, get a different one. Um, but, you know, just regular maintenance in regards to uh, making sure there's a, enough fog fluid in there. Um, you can make sure that uh, there are some people that say to run vinegar and vinegar, stuff. Vinegar, yes, I've used that. That you can, but this is such a small um, fogger that's in here. I mean, you don't really need it. I mean, it's really... A, that stuff is really for the nice big industrial foggers to make sure that that whole system is all cleaned through. This is a very small, tight system, obviously because it's a moving spinning head. So, you know, that kind of maintenance for that, I think it's very minimal for this machine. Obviously, don't store it upside down, any of those things. Um, don't uh, put in non-CITC fog in the machine. That's, it's, that's the one thing that we have to make sure that we uh, tell everybody that please use CITC fog because it is working in parallel with this machine to work at 110%. And there are a few limitations on output, um, which let me make sure I get these right so I'm the front of the paperwork on it. So like, I'm sorry, so what I was saying is, it, any other fogger out there, you don't necessarily have output capability. And that's mm -hmm. what's really nice. And then from that you could, you know, you could program. You could have something start really nice and smooth, slow, small, build up really big, change your lights, make it, make it look like a really, like it's a volcano coming around. You know. yep. All right, so uh, per the manual, all the information we're getting today is in the manual, and if you want the manual, it'll be on thehauntstore.com. Yep. It will also be on the website, uh, C-I-T-A-C. Um, so at 100%, you're looking at 15 seconds on and a 20 second reheat time after that. At 50%, you're looking 16 on and 16 off for the reheat. At 33%, you're looking at 35 seconds on, 9 seconds off. At 10%, we're looking 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and then off would be 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, the fog function switches off and doesn't come back on unless you drop. There's there's some notes about that, but no one's going to run this at 10%. Yeah. Let's be honest. Um, this is also, the output is controlled completely through your board, or in our case, Magic Q. It's not something you have to set on the actual fixture and dedicate. Um, yeah, um, other cool thing, if you're not using the, uh, the computer here and you don't have the thing, you can just buy one of these. These are pretty inexpensive. It's basically a relation board here. And you can just control it with the faders. Um, and you can also do controls with the uh, directional with your joystick here. Um, that's a little basic for my uses, but you know, if you're a home monitor, it's always an option. Um, fluid consumption, which is always a big thing, because you got that, that reservoir, it's not a huge reservoir. That's a lot. Basically, that tank, if you're running this professionally, you're going to maybe need to refill that every four shows, depending on your output. I mean, if you're, you know, Ozzy Osbourne and he's running it every song, it might be a little more than that. That will definitely get you through one two-hour show. Yeah. And then some. Now, if you're running it with the reservoir, which I highly recommend you do, yeah. uh, you're looking at maybe a couple weeks of shows before that runs out. Yeah. 
And it's a very simple process of uh, just looking up. These are <coughs> compression fittings for the vinyl tubing. And it's just vinyl tubing out to your um, tank. And then you know, just a couple of moments of uh, priming it, and you're good to go. And you can have that tank mounted on some truss somewhere out of the way. You're not even going to see it. First step, we'll just do a quick uh, color scan so you can kind of see the head move in action with color. And you can see that the head moves very fluidly. Very, very fast servos on this. It's, it's insane. I would not expect them. It's also not very loud, which is nice. Sometimes you have those really loud grinding servers. When it changes direction, you're not getting any of that. And if you ever need to call the police, here you go. Ready to go. Um, we did a small little version of a searchlight. Very bright. Very that bright. is exciting. Very bright. Bright. And this is actually the white. So uh, I don't know how the, the camera is actually picking this up, but this is a very clean white. And then uh, we worked on this one program. We called it the afterburner, which makes the head spin. So as you can see, you can actually run the fogger while the head is in motion. It's not something that it has to be stable. So if you want to have it doing like circles of fog, it, it you can do that. It's very cool as well. Yes, there's not there's just almost no heat. It's a not little just warm. cool that it's cool, but it's yes. heat intensity wise. I mean, if you if you have like this right next to like pipe and drape or something, you're not gonna have to worry about being overheating because like I can have my hand here and this it's warm, it's not hot. And again, we're using 15 second fog in here, so hopefully you can still see us over here. <laughs> and obviously, you know, I mean, you could, if you had the longer lasting fog, you could certainly, at this point, you can see that you can make it give the, 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 that light. Um, yeah, you're, you're getting a nice beam out of this too. You're not, you're not looking at a very wide wash. You could do a lot with just this effect alone without using the fog. Um, so if you have, you know, hazers going off, there's your strobe effect. You can strobe also in any color. Yeah. Um, you gotta see we're bumping through colors here, and it, it's a very even color change. You're not looking at a lot of jerkiness. Um, if you buy through the Haunt Store before October 31st, do you have a coupon code going on? We have a coupon code going on till October 31st, and if you were at Scarlet, you've got that coupon code, but. Um, through this video here, you can definitely use it as well. It'll be in the comments as well. Or, yeah, it'll be um, in the description. It'll be the somewhere. Scare LA, 20% off. Um, the original price was $24.95, and we've reduced it to $21 to help push the sales through. Um, we want to make sure that uh, that haunters out there can afford it as well as uh, pro people. So definitely uh, get that before October 31st. It's a 20% off, $21.95. It's a really good deal. If I wasn't a broke stagehand, I'd probably buy a couple. If you buy, if you were to buy just the light head, I mean, I was researching. If you buy just the light head, uh, an echelon is almost 2000 just for the head. No fogger. So, think about it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, Jason, Haunt Store, Rotten Apple, Brian, Rain of Terror. Check both haunts out this October. Buy the fixture. Freaking awesome.